Okay, in the last video we talked about adding data onto a form. Um, we're just going to extend that in this video. We go into the table I've created, Table Customers, in Design View. I've just added a couple of new fields here. A sex field, which is a number data type. I've given that an integer. And a notes field, which is a memo data type. Essentially a memo means you're going to be able to type a lot more text than you would with a normal text data type. So there you go, these are our two new fields. Close the table and because our form is bound to a query I also need to add those two new fields into the query. We scroll along here to the end and we can see that I've added these two new fields from the table into our query. Close our query, go into our form, design view and now we want to add those two new fields to the form. Okay, so for the first one, the field called sex, we need to do something special here. Um, we need a special type of button which is going to give us a choice of either male or female. So in order to do that, we click on the toolbox at the top, make sure our wizard button is pressed here, and we want to find this one called option group. Click on that move it to our form and then just click down on the form and Access is now asking what names we want to give to the options so I'm going to type in here male and female now click next and it's asking us if we want a default, well we don't in this case so I'll select no and click next. Now it's asking us what values we want to assign to the names. We could have naught and one. We could have one and two. I've selected one and two. We could have your own choice if you want. Click next. Now do you want to save the value we've entered for later use or do we want to store it in a field? Well because we've entered a new field into the table we want to store any value that we click on here on the form into that field so select store in this field and the field we want is the one called sex so here we go we select that field so we're going to store anything that's clicked on the form in either male or female into this field here that we've created in our table click next and it's now asking us what type of control we want on the form well for this type of button a yes or no, a male or female, we better to select the option button choice. So click next and we'll just leave that as it is for now, frame 11. Okay, now we've got our option button group here. I'm going to click on the frame there and just delete that label, cut it. Right, we can also copy a label. Um, by doing that, just click on the label, do Control C, and then Control V. I'm not sure where it's put that label, but uh, here it is. It's put it at the top here. So we just click on it until we get the hand, pull it down, put it about here. I can't actually see the text, so I'm going to have to take a guess. Okay, there's our new field. Now, if we run the form, what do we get? Well, we've got male or female. Click that. And there's our new button, and that's getting stored in the sex field in our table. So, if we close that now, I do want to save changes to the design. Go into our table. Look at the first record. We can see we've got the value 2 there for the sex because we labeled the buttons as having values of either 1 or 2. 1 for male, 2 for female. So we have 2 there for the sex for the first record. Go back into our form at the first record and there we can see that is 2 for female. Now we also added another field and that was called a, a, me a memo field, um, a notes field. So click in design, 
we also want to add that field onto our form. Uh, we don't need any special text boxes or anything here, so we can just click on our field list, click on our notes field, hold the mouse down and just drag it onto the form and then let go. And we have a nice box there. Let's expand that out a bit. I want to just change this full color of, of black to be blended in with all the others. Change that to white. Save it. Run the form now. And we can type in here. We've also been given, because it's a, a widened box, it's not like a text box here, because it's a widened box for more text, it also puts a little scroll bar on the side. There's a bit of text there. We're just going to copy this text and paste it in a few times. And you can see with a memo field as a data type, we can type in a lot more text as opposed to just, just this one line on these text boxes here. So I hope that's given you an idea of how to use an option group for male or female or whatever choices you want and also a memo field here for our, our new notes uh, field that we've uh, selected.